Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hit subscribe. Today we're adding skis to my FT Tiny Trainer. Let's get into it. Okay, so these are the skis we're adding. So we're gonna start off with our wire. So we're gonna take this wire and we're gonna cut it down to 400 millimeters or 40 centimeters. Okay, so now that we have our wire cut to 40 centimeters long, we're gonna take our Sharpie and we're gonna mark it at 20 centimeters, right in the middle and we're gonna bend it 90 degrees. Okay, so just like that, we have it bent at 90 degrees. And then we can take our airplane here and we can see how wide we want it to be. So that's about four centimeters, so I'm just going to um, put a mark at four centimeters on each side. So now that we have that, we can bend that 90 degrees. So now that we just have this weird shaped wire thing here, so we're just going to take it and we're gonna bend it like sideways. Okay. So it's sitting flat and it's about bent the same. So you see how I made it? I just made the, the gear a lot wider. So this is gonna sit on the airplane like this. So now I wanna bend a little bit forward. And you can just tweak this a little bit, bend it here and there until you get it symmetrical in the shape you're wanting. But this is a really simple and easy um, landing gear build, I think. Okay. So now that we have our basic shape going for us, we can take and we can add them to our skis here. So now we need to add this section here back horizontal to go into our skis. For us, this is about three centimeters. So now that we have our basic landing gear shape going for us, we can take and we can add it to our skis. Okay, so I don't really use collars in landing gear very often, but I see I have these here. And they're awfully large, but I don't know, we'll use them. So after we have them installed, we can bend our wire a little bit to get it the way we like it, but that looks pretty good right there. Okay, so actually the last thing we need to do before we can put these collars on and attach these is we need to put these rubber bands on. So I'm just using these little rubber bands, they're little craft rubber bands, they're about three quarters of an inch in diameter. And we're just gonna put three of them on there for extra security. So if you think there's too much tension on there, you could always remove or add rubber bands to get more or less tension. Okay, and that looks good. So it's gonna hold it in the air in the upper position when it's flying, and then when it's on the ground, it's gonna just simply go down like that. So this landing gear system is working awesome and this can be mounted to absolutely any airplane you like. So this is a great universal system that you can actually interchange between your airplanes if you would like. So we're gonna fix up our FT Tiny Trainer because I did crash it last time I flew it and we're going to see if we can go fly. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so it's all looking good. We got the plane all, I think, ready to go. And one thing we gotta do is we need to curve up these landing gear so that they um, don't just dig into the snow. So what I come up with this is a roll of tape. So after the end of the roll is done, I just took and I cut it and I just flattened it. So we have this nice curve. So I can just take it and go it along that curve. So it should give me consistency on both sides. So I'm gonna try that. I have a heater here and I'm just going to try to lightly do that. I'm going to pull back these rubber bands so that I don't melt them. We'll see how it goes. You could also use a heat gun, which would probably be a lot better, but uh, we'll see. That actually worked really nice. I just got to heat it up evenly and don't heat it up, don't burn it, but like, I don't know. We'll see. Okay guys, that actually worked out really well and I'm super excited about that. It looks awesome. Okay, so let's install this landing gear into the airplane. So to do that, we need to take this front section off and we need to mark where we're gonna put it. So let's say, so with the arrow pointing backwards, we're gonna put it about right here. That looks good. Let's poke two holes about a possible width apart inside of here. And then 
We'll flip it over and we'll use a popsicle stick and we'll cut it about the length the width of this. Or we'll break it about the width of this. It doesn't have to be anything precise. And then we can glue that down in between our two holes. I'm gonna use a pair of pliers so I don't burn myself. We'll move on to the front section. So up here, we just need to mark where our front section is coming in and we need to pull a popsicle stick through it right there. So now that we are home, now that we have our homemade, we can make our own put our popsicle stick through. Our front end is gonna have a zip tie. So now that we have our zip tie installed, we can assemble everything. Now that popsicle stick on the other side will help so it doesn't pull through the phone. And then we can just take a regular rubber band and put it around. So now let's assemble the rest of the airplane. Okay guys, this is looking so awesome. Let's get out there. Make sure you hit subscribe and if you're liking this video and let's get out there and see how it works. That didn't work as well as we thought because it is a cold 18 degrees outside and the snow is very fluffy. So the skis just sunk in very easily, but it did fly very well with the skis. It was a little bit heavier and you could feel them, they were there, but it flew very well. And I think this will work great when we get some warmer snow and it'll work a lot better. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and you learned something. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and go check out more of my videos. So thank you for watching, have a great day, bye.